some detox recipes today. And I'm Virginie. Nice to be with you. Our first recipe for the day is the old standard that everyone likes to talk about. So we're going to, we're going to use two avocados here. Um, again, you can make this recipe whatever size you want to. All of these recipes are in the detox book. We're doubling the recipe because we're going to have uh, 10 people at our, our dinner today. And so, um, and we're going to have lots of other things at this dinner. So this is just a little bit of an appetizer. We'll just throw these things away. Very simple. You should just start squishing it. You just take it and grind it all up. We'll be putting in, yeah, about that much. So this would be two avocados, as you can see. We're going to be putting in about a half a cup of tomatoes in here. Now, when you're here in Mexico, lots of times they'll make this at the table. I gotta admit, it always tastes best if you make it right in front of you. And they usually make it in kind of a mess. So let's just throw it in. Yeah. Yeah, one more. Okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. Push right up. And yeah, about it. About this? Yes. So you, it depends on how much you like. Um, you put anywhere between one and five cloves in here. I'm going to put in two teaspoons like that. That, that, that. And then here's some lime juice. It's just being squeezed out. And the, the lime juice really brings it together. It also makes it so it doesn't go brown. So there's two tricks if you're going to make the guacamole ahead of time, which we are. Our dinner is not going to be for a couple hours yet. So one of the, the tricks here is, is to put the lime juice in and it is to save an avocado pit. There you go. You put it in there. You got it in? Yeah. I know it sounds strange, but it'll turn quite brown unless you do it. So I know by the detox you can't have chips. So this is always a problem. You can't have corn chips, you can't have potato chips and stuff like this. But we did find a little bit of a, an exception to the rule. Now, I gotta admit, the jury's out on this so far. But in the last couple of months, there's been a company, a couple of companies that have made bean chips. And so we've been trying these with patients so far, and it doesn't seem to be a problem of the detox. So this one here is a homeless chip. Um, there's ones made of lentils and stuff like that. You can't have any of the flowers, but you can have a bean flower. So, so the first thing you're supposed to do is test this. So again, all the recipes we're going to be doing here today come out of the Wild Rose Detox Cookbook. simple we just take we're going to double the recipe again because we're going to have a group of people here this is a uh, one cabbage red cabbage as it's cabbage season now and so we try to use cabbages for everything so it's already being shredded um, and we just mix that together and we're going to be taking uh, this arugula here is from our farm it's a little bit on the bitey side so you might want to use commercial this is what's called wild arugula it's not really wild as it were, but it's it's a kind of arugula that has a very strong, almost peppery flavor to it. Um, I personally really like it this way. It's just a look, huh? I, yeah, I think so. Now, of course, there's, a, there's an official recipe in your book, and uh, uh, we kind of do it by intuition here. And we're doing some lemon juice. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. 
we put something else in there. Well, and we need, what else do we need? Avocado. Avocado. Two? Yeah, two. No, three. Three. More avocados. Always the answer is more avocados. No, three. Again, it's up to you to decide if you want smoked salmon or that. Now, the recipe doesn't actually call for dill, but it's that time of year and dill in the garlic. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of dill in here because, well, to be honest with you, I think dill is one of the perfect herbs to go with that. So one of the ideas I want to have with this thing is it's good to be able to mix various things with it. I want to make sure you understand that you can and go off the recipe as much as you want to. The recipes are not prescriptive as such, they're just little ideas that you can uh, go along with. Two tablespoons per, and since we're doubling this again, I'm going to. Um, yeah, well, greenhouse garden. Next, yes. Thank you. And did I did I miss you? Four avocados. I think that's a good idea. A two, a two, two, I think. Yes. So, Terry, you want these in? Yes. And we're going to be sprinkling that in here. So this is a combination of seaweeds. This is definitely a traditional West Coast type meal. This, you don't need to add salt to this, of course, because this gives you kind of a salty flavor itself. So again, it says wakame in the recipe, but you can change that up. You can see we almost could have done this in a bigger bowl. Okay. Let's see. Well done. Isn't it nice to have just that little bit of smoke in there? Mm -hmm. It's better to just 
And the deal, and the deal really helps, but let's put some more deal back. It's a thought that, okay, so now we've got ourselves another little, kind of little raw sound. Well, sand was cooked, but um, we'll move this over to a Smoothie. Now I know it seems absolutely ridiculous that you can have chocolate on a detox, but yeah, you can if you do it right. So you can do this many different ways. You can do it in a big bite of mix, which I often do at home, or, or you can use one of these little neutral bowls. And that's what I'm going to do here today. Now, as soon as I have avocado, now if I was using the Vitamix, you can easily do this all in one fail swoop, but I have to have a, a neutral bowl right here, which is for a little bit smaller container that what we're going to do is put in some cacao nuts now those things there look like they're almonds but those are the actual nuts that come right off the cocoa tree or cacao tree and so you can see the difference when you put them together that they look very similar and we're going to use them together so these are raw cacao nuts and raw almonds now you, you can put in as many as you want to i kind of got used to it so i put them together in some almond milk. Now you now, we don't need to cut them up. And one of the reasons I like the Nutribullet over the Vitamix is because it's actually a little easier to clean. So you put it upside down, you go like this, and and see how it's very much a smoothie? The avocado thickens it up. Now, you decide how thick you want it by how many avocados you put in and or how much almond you put in. So, I'm using the neutral a little bit more and it's better for one or two people. So what we can do is just pass this around our crowd with um, no cups. <laughs> Get us some cups and we'll just... And this recipe here was um, sent in to my blog, drterrywood.com, by Isaac Morrison as a simple thing that he found that he used in the detox. And its simplicity is great. And he likes it as one of his major things. So all to do, and, and Virginia's going to do this, we're going to take a bowl of frozen wild raw blueberries. And here we have, here, you can get, yeah? Well, we've got a lot of people here. One more. Oh. Now all we do is we take some almond butter and we put it in there. Now this is a good raw almond butter and we just smooth it around in there. Whoops, you see? Then we're just gonna put some um, coconut chips in with it. And just stir it all up. So now you have yourself a little dessert. It's a combination of nuts, raw almond butter. Blueberries, you can use the wild blueberries, in this case it has to be a domestic, and some coconut, and it just moves around and it actually tastes quite delicious. And it's very, it very simple. Another little dessert. So, so far, what we've got is we've got ourselves guacamole mm -hmm. with chips. some chips. We've got ourselves salmon salad that we can have, a little bit of salmon in there. Yep. We've got ourselves a goji berry and 
hemp seed and cabbage. Oh, red cabbage. cabbage. Red cabbage. Mm -hmm. um, mixed up as a salad. Yep. We've got ourselves a drink, a nice little smoothie, okay. and we got ourselves a dessert. Mm -hmm.